make it into a telescoping series. So now we'll do this by some of the same processes we did with partial fraction decomposition. You know, we're breaking this down. So now the first thing we want to do, we want to break this down so we could have um, break our denominator down. So now if we remember when we did partial fraction decomposition, we set it up as 8 over n plus 1 plus b over n plus 2. That's how we would break down that and factor out that denominator. Uh, we solved this by cross multiplication. So 8 would be a times n plus 2 plus b times n plus 1. So first, we would have to let n be equal to negative 1. Why? Because this is that would be a 0 here. So let's go through with that. A, 8 is equal to a times negative 1 plus 2 plus b times negative 1 plus 1. Okay, we could cancel out this side. The negative 1 plus 1s will cancel. So we have 8 is equal to 1a. On this other side, let's let n be equal to negative 2. Why? Because that would be the 0 here. So we would have 8 is equal to a times negative 2 plus 2 plus b times negative 2 plus 1. Once again, the negative 2 plus 2s would cancel out. So we would have 8 is equal to negative b. If 8 is equal to negative b, dividing both sides by negative 1, that would be negative 8 would be equal to b. So now we want to put this back in and see how uh, this would look. So our new series... Uh, once we plugged everything in, that would be 8 over n plus 1 minus 8 over n plus 2. This would be our new series. But to simplify this, one thing that I uh, want us to do, remember, we can pull the 8 out and multiply this 8 by whatever our sum would be. As I simply factored out an 8. All right, so whatever we get when we add up the um, terms of our series, we multiply it um, by 8. All right, so now let's go through it. If we were to plug a 1 in, because we're starting at 1, that would be 1 half minus 1 third. If we were to plug a 2 in, that would give us 1 third minus 1 fourth. If we were to plug a 3 in, that would give us 1 third I'm sorry, that would give us one-fourth. I'm sorry right there. That would give us one-fourth minus one-fifth. If we were to plug in a four, that would give us one-fifth minus one-sixth. And it would just go on to uh, follow. A lot of things would cancel. So now we need to see what will cancel out just by the eye test. Um, sometimes you may have to, we plugged in up to our first four. Sometimes you may have to plug in more. Sometimes you could plug in fewer. Plug in as many numbers as it takes for you to feel comfortable seeing what will cancel itself out. All right. So now, visually, I can see that this negative one-third and positive one-third is going to cancel. These next two terms are going to cancel. So negative one-fourth and positive one-fourth. Negative one-fifth and one-fifth. 
And as you can see, each successive term of this series is going to start canceling out. But we do have something that's left, and that is what? One half. So now in the end, we're going to say eight, and everything is going to sum up to one half times this eight, which will give us four. So this telescoping series converges to a sum of four.